Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has been out for over a month and I have yet to make a video on it. But of course, the first video I'll make on it is going to be me complaining about something. So let's talk about Tearless people. We all know them, we all love them, and we all make fun of them. I personally hate Tearless though. Now I know what a lot of you are probably thinking. Tearless are awesome and we get to see other people's opinions. You just said we all love Tearless, how can you say you hate them now? You probably suck at Smash anyway. All of these are valid thoughts to have. <coughs> Money match me though. The thing is, I don't actually hate tier lists for what they are. I do truly love tier lists. When I see a player's tier list, not only does it give insight on what the player thinks about specific characters, but a tier list as a whole can give insight on how players think the game should or could be played. It truly does promote dialogue since a player usually won't just put out a tier list without explanation. And even if they do, it's bound to have people who challenge the tier list. Iron does indeed sharpen iron. The constant dialogue will help us learn more about the game. However, with these positives, the tier list brings very stupid and annoying negatives. The biggest reason I am against tier lists is not for what they are, but how people use them. For instance, let's say Zero, who is probably the most popular Smash Ultimate player at the moment, makes a tier list. And in that tier list, the first character Zero has is Richter Belmont from Castlevania. Zero could say something like, I think Richter may be the best character in the game, but it's hard to say because Richter is very bad off stage and super exploitable once you get him into a disadvantage. Okay, so first of all, no, I don't think Richter is the best character in the game. He's just easy to make this example on because I think he's a pretty good character with a super obvious weakness. But anyways, a person will see Zero's tier list, ignore the whole explanation Zero just made on it, and go, Oh my goodness, Richter is the new Bayo! Please nerf Richter! What do we do to deserve this? Death to all Richter means! Blah 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 blah. Totally ignoring the fact that Zero was unsure himself on how good he actually thought Richter was, and also ignoring the counterplay Zero pointed out in his explanation. People will also say these things in having A. Seen the character played, B. Played against the character themselves, or C. Played the character themselves. So not only is Inkling main 726 exaggerating on Zero's tier list, he hasn't done any research to confirm or deny whether what any of Zero said was true or not, basically just bandwagoning without any evidence of his own. Another reason I hate tier lists is because people will absolutely try to blow someone up for one character they disagree with. God help you if it's two or more. I've watched people make a tier list and maybe have like, I don't know, let's say Captain Falcon. Now if Captain Falcon read is like B plus and the whole chat is like, holy crap, you think Captain Falcon is that bad? Do you even play this game? Have you ever seen his Stomp Falcon Punch combo? Are you kidding me? Now ignore Stomp Falcon Punch is not a combo and ignore B plus is not even bad. The tier list maker tries their hardest to reason with the chat and tell the chat why they rated Captain Falcon the way they did, but the mob chat just isn't trying to hear it. Now yes, I want people to challenge tier lists. Yes, I want people to have dialogue. But berating the tier list maker for potentially being wrong about one character and not listening to the reason is not dialogue. What's the point of asking for an opinion if you're not going to listen to it and you're just going to force your own? Now yes, there are going to be some obviously suspect opinions like Falco being the best character in the game. But even still, without Leffen saying his opinion on Falco and showing the combos and edge guarding Falco can do, I personally probably wouldn't have tried Falco out, I probably wouldn't have explored Falco, and I wouldn't have found out that I actually enjoy playing Falco in this game. The reason for it, no I didn't 100% agree with what Leffen said, but I found a median within his opinion and with my opinions on the character and I saw some potential in Falco's gameplay. Now I know I really like Falco. However, this can go both ways. I very much dislike when someone makes a tier list and gets ultra defensive when anyone disagrees with it. When I say ultra defensive, I don't mean they argue with facts on the reasoning why they made the tier list the way they made it. In all honesty, you don't owe it to anyone to change your opinion. However, if your form of defense is to be dismissive on someone's opinion, attack them, or discredit them just because they disagree with you, then you shouldn't have shared your opinion in the first place. For the most part though, I think tier lists are indeed a fun insight on someone's thought process. But whenever there's fun, there's always someone to ruin it. Especially in the Smash community, 
where any small instance of disagreement can lead to some huge unneeded twit longer on how Melee isn't a Smash game. So I guess to end it all, I don't actually hate tier lists. I just hate people. Tier lists, you're alright with me. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you like the video. And if you dislike the video, rate me in the comment section, dislike the video, make it twit longer on me. But link the video too. This is King Devil 7 signing out. Peace.